time we will continue to discuss the third measure of center location, which is the mode. So we have, uh, in the previous video lecture, we have discussed the mean and the median, uh, given group and ungrouped data. This time we will be, uh, we will discuss an example applying the concept on the mode. If the level of measurement of your data is at least nominal, the mode as a measurement or as a measure of central location is applicable. Okay, this is the formula in calculating the modal value given group data. So we do not have formula for um, to be used in determining the model value for ungrouped data because we simply get the most frequent to occur. Say for example, the set Okay, let's say you have 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 1, 2 as your data set. Your model value or the mode is simply the most frequent to occur. So in this example, the observation 1 appears 1, 2, 3, 3 times. While well, the observation 2 appears 1, 2, twice. Observation 3 appears only once, as well as 5 and 7. Therefore, the most frequent to occur is the observation 1. 1 is your modal value. If we have additional observation, which is 2, we have now 1 and 2 observations. But since 1 and 2 are adjacent, our modal values will be the average of these two. Okay, if we get the average using the mean, we have 1 plus 2 divided by 2. Okay, so we have 3 over 2, which is 1.5. The modal value now is 1.5. If these two values are not adjacent, say for example, We have here 3 and 3. So the most frequent to occur are the observations 1 and 3. 1 and 3 are not adjacent values. Therefore, your mode will be one and three. So if we have two model values, we call it the bimodal. Okay, we move on to calculating model value given group data. Let's recall our example, previous example, when we calculate the mean and the median given group data. If you recall, we used this example when we calculate the mean and the median given group data. So we have here the scores of the students. Okay, so recall our formula. It 
to take note that mode is determined by we have the lower class boundary of the model class, the class size, times the frequency of the model class. This F1 is the frequency of the model class one step lower. This F2 is the frequency of the model class one step higher. Okay, so how to determine the model class? So we have here the classes or the class intervals. So which of these classes is the model class? So basically, it is important that you know how to determine the model class. Okay, so that so to do, to determine the model class, we sim we simply get the um, highest frequency since that is the concept of the mode. So the among the frequencies, the highest is the ten. So if this is the highest frequency, then this interval will be our model class so in this model class we expect the model value to be within this interval okay see so we will apply the formula in calculating for the mode Okay, so according to the formula, we have to determine the class boundary, the lower class boundary of your model class. So this is your model class. The lower limit is 11. So determine the class boundary of 11. So the class boundary of 11 is... 10.5 okay then plus the class size the class size is 5 okay so we multiply the class size or 5 with This. this is the frequency of the model class. If this is our model class, then this is the frequency. Okay, so we have here 10. Okay, in the denominator, we have here a constant value 2. We multiply it with 10. Okay, then we subtract it with F sub 1. If you recall the form formula, it was f sub 1 f sub 1 is the frequency one step lower so this is one step lower of your model class its frequency is 5 so this is minus 5 this is minus 5 okay then we call our formula this is F sub 2. This is the frequency one step higher of the model class. This is the model class. This is one step higher of your model class. So we have 2. Okay. We will now do the calculation. Okay. So we simply copy 10.5. We do it. Uh, one by one. Okay. For us to, to be sure of our answer. So we have here 5. Here we have 20 minus 5 minus 2. So that's 20 minus 7. So we have 30. Okay, so approximately, the model value is 12.42. Okay.
Okay, so we write approximately. Okay, so we have here our modal value. How do we interpret the value? Okay, we say that most of the students have scores about 12.42 or about 12 points. 